Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. People have been using and manufacturing petroleum vehicles for about two centuries. The main idea behind these petroleum vehicles is that we add oil for vehicles that ignite the engine while it mixes with the air. And some people prefer petroleum vehicles since they can bring energy and the feeling of acceleration. But with the rapid growth of automobiles, New energy vehicles are becoming one way to lower the automobile industry's dependence on petroleum to reduce the emission of carbon dioxide. Some of the major automobile manufacturers like Mercedes-Benz, Audi, and Volvo announced that they would stop manufacturing petroleum vehicles and focus on new energy vehicles. With the growing concern of climate change, more and more individuals are choosing new energy vehicles. Also, new energy vehicles can even be cheaper than regular petroleum vehicles. And to gain more customers, new energy vehicle manufacturers are even offering discounts. New energy vehicles are a hot topic in China, and more and more automakers are coming out every season to provide new energy vehicles. Even the governments have developed new policies which have already drawn people's attention. For example, the Chinese government has developed several policies concerning industrial development, demonstration projects, tax incentives, development plans, and fiscal subsidies intending to promote the new energy vehicle industry. In addition to this, studies show that electric vehicles have been assigned a top priority in the future development of the auto industry in China. Policy guidance and planning will play a significant role in gaining widespread adoption. In any case, the industry has experienced many challenges with regard to the use of technologies, industrial chains, and social factors. A few core technologies are still in their early stages. Similarly, the overall market share of new energy vehicles is still very low despite their preferential policies. The development of supporting facilities and infrastructures has to be accelerated to meet the market's growing demands. This suggests that there's a long way to go for the industrialization and global adoption of new energy vehicles. In today's video, we'll look at how soon new energy vehicles may overtake petroleum vehicles, a look at the importance of exponential growth in the new energy vehicle market, and more. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by saying so in the comments section down below. Now let's jump into it. So how soon could it be before new energy vehicles overtake petroleum vehicles? New energy vehicles could one day push petrol or diesel powered ones to extinction. How soon could this be? Well, it could be sooner than you think. As per analysts at the International Monetary Fund in Georgetown University, looking at how quickly horses and buggies were pushed to curb in the early 1900s, the analysts argue over 90% of all passenger vehicles in Europe, the United States, Canada, and other developed countries could be electric by 2040. Along with the trend of commitment to new energy vehicles by automakers and governments, the study sheds light on the prospects for exponential growth in clean transportation. Of over 1 billion registered vehicles on the road today, only around 2.6 million are electric, with over 1 million of those in China. But if the new energy vehicles gain adoption as fast as the analysts predict, it could reduce petroleum use by 21 million barrels a day and curb CO2 emissions by almost 3.2 billion tons a year. This is equivalent to around 60% of the overall U.S. emissions today. Other studies suggest that new energy vehicles would experience a slower rollout, although newer ones are likely to be more aggressive. According to Bloomberg New Energy Finance, the overall market share of new energy vehicles in 2040 would stand at a whopping 54%, up from its previous estimate of 35% of all new car sales. Another study by the think tank Rethink X suggests that the majority of vehicles in the United States will be electric by 2030, just eight years from now. So now let's have a look at the importance of exponential growth and what that actually means. People claim that breakthroughs like the smartphone, the internet, and social media grew exponentially since they drastically transformed our lives within a few years of inception. But what does exponential mean? The late physics professor Al Bartlett exhibited the incredible power of exponential growth in a transparent manner. Consider a glass with a virus that divides into two viruses every minute. Within an hour, that doubling process fills the glass. So if you started the process at 10am, 
At what time do you think that the glass would be half full? A lot of people would assume 10.30 a.m. But in fact, the glass will only be half full at 10.59 a.m. At 10.58, it would be 25% full. And at 10.55, it would only be 3% full. At 97%, it looks like business as usual with no tipping point in sight. The progress looks nothing noteworthy until the moment the virus becomes ubiquitous. And the same is likely to happen with new energy vehicles. Now let's have a look at the coming electric vehicle disruption. At the current moment, electric vehicles represent less than 50% of the global vehicle fleet. According to Bloomberg New Energy Finance, electric vehicles will occupy over 50% of all passenger and light commercial vehicle sales by 2040. Many people would consider this an underestimation. With time, electric vehicles could become a lot cheaper compared to their combustion engine equivalents. And this could take place in just three to five years as the cost of lithium ion batteries is dropping at an unprecedented rate. This could result in a tipping point driven by the fact that conventional petroleum vehicles can't meet the tightening environmental laws being adopted globally. Electric vehicle drivers admire their eco-friendliness, their superior performance, and lower maintenance needs. In any case, your personal choice to purchase electric vehicles isn't necessarily enough to make our transportation system cleaner. Just because these vehicles don't require petrol doesn't necessarily mean that they make transportation clean. For example, a Tesla charged in China or Pennsylvania is powered by coal. Throughout its lifetime, it could even cause more emissions compared to petrol-based vehicles. Also, manufacturing an electric vehicle could give out more CO2 emissions than manufacturing a conventional vehicle. However, a Tesla charged in places like Norway, France, or British Columbia would give out less than half of the CO2 of a traditional vehicle throughout its lifetime. And this is because these countries use low carbon or renewable energy resources for producing electricity. To put it simply, an electric vehicle is clean as long as the energy ecosystem in which it drives is clean. The first step to lowering CO2 emissions is the exponential growth in new energy vehicles. The energy transition is based on the policymakers, people, technologists, businesses, and regulators giving this clean tech project the sustenance for exponential growth. You as a consumer can purchase an electric vehicle, but our societies need to make the right choice between an electric vehicle that's powered by renewable or fossil fuels. Ford Motor expects around 40% of its overall vehicle sales volume to go electric by 2030. On the other hand, GM said it will sell only zero emission models by 2035. And Stellantis, the successor to Chrysler, has vowed to go either electric or hybrid by 2030. The company is targeting more than 70% of sales in Europe and 40% in the United States to be low emission vehicles. So all I can say is the future is fast approaching. So there we have it. Do you believe that new energy vehicles are the key to a sustainable future? Let us know in the comments down below. Once again, if you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.